Hi guys, so you guys probably know we've been traveling Egypt for the past few days and um, we've been like uploading videos of us and if you haven't checked those videos out, do check them out right after you watch this video. So in this video, there, we're gonna be like showing you all our accommodations slash hotels here in Egypt and whether they're like breakfast included or not so that's what we'll be doing today and welcome back to my channel follow me so this is our first room this is our room in giza um and this is this is the room so yeah these are just cupboards okay okay so this is the bathroom wait let me just turn the light on okay this is like the bathtub like the sink the toilet oh look there's even a telephone in here i've never seen a telephone in the bathroom to be honest i'm not sure if you have so the hotel well these things are like little bungalows kind of and the lights are kind of confusing i can't really seem to find the correct light okay there we go okay oh, never mind. so we've got like one double bed and um there's like this area for where we can like if we want to make coffee ourselves there's like also a refrigerator and like a television and then we have like a little porch out here and then this hotel also has a swimming pool and this hotel here's the restaurant for breakfast for breakfast we have to go to our neighboring hotel which is the steigenberger hotel so yeah and for breakfast here at this hotel there are quite a few breakfast options we can get like crab omelets um what's it called again cereal we can get like bread we can get yogurt it's got pretty much a lot and um here there's some spices as well if we want to like use it and there are also like drinks like for example not like drink drinks but like juice like hibiscus tea um orange juice apple juice mint and lemon water mint water and water but like the water here is like so freezing see right over here and mango juice mango juice is amazing and there's also like egyptian bread here we can try if we want to so yeah if you want to try there are like some puddings here there's like rice pudding vermicelli pudding um some couscous um slash quinoa and um lots more There's also like some milk here. Like there's hot milk, skimmed milk, and um, more milk. And here, there's also like honey, jam, and fresh fruit, which looks really delicious. I'm gonna take some later. And there's also, yeah, dry fruit, if we want some. And there's like this jam thing, some more yogurt, and a lot more. I probably already told you, told you this, but like I have to tell you again, the food options are just amazing. And everything tastes so good, like delicious. So breakfast, I'm pretty sure starts at like eight o'clock and um, it ends at 10.30 or 11 a.m. in the morning. Cause breakfast is in the morning, not in the afternoon. So yeah, hey, hey, hey. There's like also like cheese, um, ham, olives a salad and yeah so the next place we're visiting for the hotels right now is aswan and here it's not really like a hotel hotel but it's more like a guest house well it is a guest house and this guest house is called the mango guest house aswan is like so hot 
look at all this beautifulness. It's so beautiful. There's just like, once you like open the gate, it's just like greenery and flowers meeting you inside. And I've noticed the last place where we went to, they gave us like hibiscus juice, well, hibiscus tea for like a welcoming. And here they also gave us some, so yeah. And here there's like a fridge where we can get like um, drinks if we have to, but then we've got to like write it down on a paper which is on like the table thing next to it. Um, yeah, and I don't really think this place is wheelchair accessible because there are only stairs to get up and down. So yeah, but this place is actually really good. So come on, we'll go show you our room. And this place also has like a roof terrace as you can see, it says roof terrace up there. So yeah. So right now we just reached the first floor. This place has just has such a homely feel. It makes you feel like you're at home, probably because I don't know why, but it just makes you feel at home like a lot. So the mango guest house is like so beautifully decorated and the owner, she's like really nice. And if we need like help with arranging a taxi or um, like w what to do in Aswan or where to visit in Aswan, she helps us with all that. And um, there's another guy here who's like, maybe maintainer is a good word. Um, and he like also helps us a lot. Like when we first come here, he like carries all our baggage up the stairs. For breakfast, we're sitting at like the top of the guest house. So, um, yeah. and here for breakfast, they f freshly make us an omelet and some freshly cut tomatoes and cucumbers and a very delicious Egyptian um, falafel. And if we want to, we can always get second. Aswan to Luxor and um, this is our taxi driver his name's Ahmed and um, he, like, he like took us around in like Aswan and um, took us from Aswan to Luxor so if you guys need a taxi driver you can contact this person and we'll put it in the description below. Luxor, our hotel is called Pyramisa, and um, here as well they give us some hibiscus tea slash juice, and it's quite cold, and it's a traditional drink of Egypt, and it's called Karkade, and it's a traditional drink made from boiling red hibiscus flowers, and then the water is like cooled, and then sugar is added, and then the tea can also be like enjoyed, enjoyed as like hot herbal tea. Welcome! So this is our room in Luxor. It's, oh, I love safes. <laughs> so this is our bathroom. It's um, actually quite nice. And they also have like shower gel and shampoo for us. This is our room. We have like three separate beds and um, here's, oh yeah, we also have a TV here and like in um, Cairo, there was a mirror for us to get ready. There's also one here. And the view here is just amazing because it's the Nile River. And outside there's a big garden and a few swimming pools. So we'll show you that app later, okay? Come on. And like in our hotel, there's like a few like shops. Well, I've only seen two so far, but there are a few shops. 
and all the thread around us, the hotel, this whole thing is rooms in total. There are four floors in total and it's like very big, the hotel, it's humongous. So in this hotel, there are two swimming pools and this is like the pool bar and you can like sit in the pool and like drink something and um there are like three different restaurants here an oriental restaurant a chinese restaurant and an italian restaurant and this place is really pretty and we got the best view from our room because we can see the nile river so right now we're gonna go have lunch a little bit okay And here in the garden, there's like a lot of hibiscus trees, palm trees, and Tulsi trees. And um, the hibiscus trees, there are a lot all around Egypt. So wherever we go in Egypt, the hotels they always give us hibiscus tea as like a welcoming drink and if we want to buy the flower it's dried up and we can usually buy them in the markets here in egypt so there's like a bridge over the pool and oh my god the thing about this pool is that it starts at 30 centimeters and then it goes all the way until 240 centimeters which is the other side of the pool it's like it's like not deep at all and then very very deep and there's Oh yeah, you see this area, that's um, where we have like breakfast. And there's this one more swimming pool. No one like ever goes swimming here as far as I've been at the hotel right now. But they're like, these seats are pretty comfy. I, I went, sat in them um, a little while ago and they're actually pretty com comfy. And for the swimming pools, it always says there's no lifeguard on duty, but there always is, which I'm kind of confused about. Like, it's kind of confusing if it says there's no lifeguard on duty, and then there's a lifeguard. Okay, anyways, and the towels for the swimming pools, um, they'll give it to you because they have, like, a cart of, cart of, like, new towel, newly washed towels. So, here's the breakfast area. For breakfast here, there are also quite a few options, but here, um, like I said, in the Giza Hotel, um, there were crabs here. There aren't really a lot of crabs. So, um, yeah. So, um, this is, I'm gonna show you like a video of like what we have here. You might recognize a few things, you might not, but it's fine if you don't. So the best way to end our day in Luxor after we've either been going on a hot air balloon or going through the city like a city tour is to watch this beautiful sunset from our hotel. It's very beautiful. You can just see some orange and the reflection on the Nile River. It looks very stunning. So here in Luxor, um, we're like staying out a bit to like watch the beautiful sunset. 
and um, we're gonna watch it until the sun like completely sets. So you guys can also watch it with me. And um, yeah, and it looks so calm because of, like the boats and then like the sun and then the palm trees and then the river, it, it, it looks amazing. So do watch it with me, please. One of the best days in Luxor is when you like go on a hot air balloon in the morning and you see the beautiful sunrise. And then at, at the sunset, you get to just see the sunset. So you get to see like both ways of the sun. It looks beautiful. Like the sunrise is different and the sunset is different. They both look amazing. So we're in Hergada right now and um, these people are dancing for like someone's birthday and the food here, we like already posted what food you can get here. You can get like pretty much the same things you, we got at the other hotels, but the food is in my scuba diving video. So if you haven't watched that video, do check it out, the scuba diving one. And here they're dancing because it's someone's birthday today. And what they do is that they like dance and then after that they go to like the person's table and they sing happy birthday to them and then the person like cuts the cake and then yeah. And here there's like a kid section. This is not for the birthday but like it's here sometimes. There's like popcorn, candy, nuts, corn, and some sweets. So, yeah. And, oh my God, the dessert here is just amazing. Like the cakes, they make so many varieties of cakes every single day here. Yummy. So, now that we've finished our adventure in Egypt, scuba diving, going to the pyramids and everything, and um, riding on camels, and everything. This is our hotel and we're now checking out to go back to Switzerland. And um, I'm gonna miss this hotel because there's this giant water park and um, I really like water parks, especially in like super hot weather. So yeah, I really enjoyed Egypt, especially Hurghada was my favorite. Um, and yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more of my upcoming videos. Thank you, bye!